In this video, I will talk about the exit command in Linux. So, let us get to know the basics of this command and see 5 different examples of using the exit command in the Ubuntu terminal. There are multiple ways to exit or log out from the current shell session in the Linux environment. However, it may affect our background processes when leaving the current shell. In this case, you can safely use the exit command to log out from your current shell. So now, let us see the basic syntax of the exit command. At first, you write the exit command or the exit keyword. Then you mention an integer value, which is most of the cases the exit status. And after that, you mention the username. But here is a catch. The exit command do not include any option. Now, I will show you the different examples of using the exit command in the Ubuntu terminal. In example 1, I will show you how to exit from the current shell session. So, let's see how it works. At first, you have to open your terminal. Now, if you type exit, the terminal will exit or the current shell session will exit. So, first, I will write a print statement to do something on this current shell session. So now I will type exit. The terminal closes and the current shell session is lost. In example 2, I will show you how to exit from the root user's shell. So let's see how it works. At first, you need to open your terminal. Now you have to log in as the root user. So type the following command. sudo space su this will ask for your user password. So enter the password. Now you're logged in as the root user. So I will just print a statement. Something like this. Now if you type exit, it will log out or exit from the root user's shell. So now you're back to your previous user. In example 3, I will show you how to use the exit command to print the default value or exit status of the command executed. So let's see how it works. Now suppose I type the command echo hello world. Then to display the exit status or default value of the previous command executed, I will type echo then dollar sign and after that question mark. This prints the default value or exit code of the command executed. Now in Linux, by default, 0 is assigned for the exit code of the command which is executed correctly without any error. Now if the exit code of a executed command is greater than 0, then there might be an issue or error with the command. For example, in this case, It gives me the exit code value of 130, which means there might be an error or issue with the previous command executed, which is this. In example 4, I will show you how to create a manual exit code of your own using a bash script. So let's see how it works. For this example, I will create a script named code.sh first. Now over here, I will edit my script. So I will start with the shebang line first. Now I will just write a simple print statement stating hello world. After the execution of this command, I am setting the exit code to 60. Now my script is done. So I'll save it using Ctrl S and exit using Ctrl X. Now it's time to execute the script.
After I have executed the script, it prints hello world in the terminal. Since the command has been executed successfully, it will also print the exit code 60. So now I will print the exit code. It prints the value 60 in the terminal, which I have set manually as exit code in the bash script. In this last example, which is example 5, I will show you how to get help about the exit command. So let's see how it works. So for this example, type the following command, help, exit. This will display the help page of the exit command and describe more about it. So this was all for this video. If you want to know further about the exit command, please refer to the article provided in the video description below. Thank you for staying with us. If you want to know about more new comments and get updated about our channel, please subscribe to our channel.